it is a completely unknown story. We think we know everything about the Holocaust or about World War II, and then out bursts a perfect little story that this is so powerful in its implications. A friend of mine that I'd known for many, many years, and, but didn't know he was trying to work on a film about his grandparents, um, came to me and showed me some footage, and there was a diamond in the rough, a, an incomplete film that needed some work, and for the last three years, at, you know, on the weekends at night, I've been polishing this thing and trying to make it better uh, with my friend Artemis Joukowsky. His grandparents, Waitstill and Martha Sharp, he was a Unitarian minister in Wellesley, Massachusetts, when asked by his church to go on the eve of World War I and get refugees out of Prague. He did it. Um, it's, it's like a thriller. Uh, there's only two voices in the film, no narrator, and they're the voice of the woman, uh, Waitzel Sharp, uh, wife Martha, and Waitzel, which we got Tom Hanks to, to read, and he's phenomenal. And we then interviewed all of the, Artemis interviewed all of the survivors, some of the people he got out who were little children and are now in their 80s. And you begin to realize that when you say six million dead, it becomes this impossible, impassable wall that you can't, it, it loses its meaning. Um, but if you show a handful of people who are saved and you see what they became and that they have children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, you begin to understand that so much of it is about potentiality, all those lives lost, all those possible Nobel Prizes, all those possible cures of medicine, all that great art that we're missing the amputated limb that we feel even though we're there long gone. It's funny, you know, I get sent all this stuff all the time and it's like, I'm working on my own stuff. This is the first time in my professional life I'm, I'm doing a film that was literally brought by somebody else and was already shot. Um, and and I'm, I've got way too many films I'm working on right now, so that was different. But, you know, I looked at it and there was something there. It was something really compelling about it and it needed a lot of work and I think I've made it better. But it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience diving into a subject that's so compelling. Artemis and his team had worked for years and years and years sort of assembling this. I mean, he basically, this started when, as a kind of a grade school assignment. He was in the eighth grade and he was supposed to write about somebody with moral courage and his mother, who was incredibly ambivalent about this story because she'd been abandoned by her parents in order for them to go over to Europe and save children. They, what they didn't save were their own children. And uh, she said, go ask your grandmother. She did some things in in World War II, and so he did. So he's been working on this most of his life in some way, shape, or form. So all the material was there.